respected Congress President, respected Prime Minister, Prime Minister, respected Vice President of the Congress Party, Shri Rahul Gandhi Ji, Congress Working Committee members, Chief Ministers, Union Ministers and Senior Leaders and AACC delegates from across the country and the DCC Presidents from across the country. I am very happy to be part of a great history making event in Delhi in which into the, in the new year of 2014 communalize the country as a whole as well as the society in particular. Here is a party. We have a party of leaders. In 2004, when we went to the people of India and asked for their trust, they voted us back with, with the UPA coming to power. And in that time, when the member of parliaments in the CPP elected our leader, Shri Sonia Gandhi, she denounced that Prime Ministership. And we had a 10 years, nine and a half years of Dr. Manmohan Singh's Prime Ministership, in which India saw a great growth and great rights year of happenings. And in the same time, when we see the, our opposition parties, we have a party which fights for their everything. For leadership, they fight. For campaign committee, they fight. For the prime ministership, they fight. For everything, they fight between them. I am meaning about the BJP, which is the RSS political wing of it. And BJP's every action, being the every pattern of their leadership has been fight among themselves. But here is a party where we are proud as congressmen, where we can see a generous leadership in our leadership pattern, where the new leadership has been promoted and our new leadership has been practiced with taking risk. Whichever risk we had been taken till of now, our leadership has faced that and we are not afraid about any of those obstacles which comes before the nation. We have a leader in Rahul Gandhi ji who had given many of us opportunities. I am a, I am from a family of where my fa father is a teacher and school teacher. From that level to be a member of parliament today is unimaginable before 20 years. But Rahul ji has made it happen. And like me, there are many stories. There are many stories in this party where people have been given opportunities and people have gone to that level who had worked in the organization silently without any expecting many things. It comes to our doorstep. Uh, we are, there is no, Rahul ji has changed the system in the Congress party, particularly in Youth Congress, that there is no need for us to ask for something. When we work dedicatedly, with dedication, with commitment towards the party, the reward comes on its own. The reward system and the how you are being recognized is a pattern in which Rahul ji has made a great change. That change has to come to the Congress party as also and in the, when my elder leader Gulam Navi ji was speaking about the political resolution, he was mentioning about the way in their time leadership was evolved and when Honorable Finance Minister was speaking about the need for youth to be given opportunities, he told that 272 youngsters should be given opportunities in the coming Lok Sabha elections. I really thank the whole leadership of the Congress party because the thinking, the senior leadership thinks that youngsters should be given opportunities. This is a party which have a family connections and everybody here so the finance minister says that it should be 272 Congress young people has to be given opportunities. It's a great thing. Never in any other party can happen like this. 
and I support the political resolutions which have been moved by Gulam Viji and I support that this AACC resolution should be passed unanimously. With that thing, I would like to have only one addition to it of the Sri Lankan Tamil and as well as the fisherman problem with Sri Lanka. The only request is that the Sri I thank Honorable Prime Minister, the, finance, the Foreign Minister for doing for engaging with the Sri Lankan government to release those Sri, Tamil fishermen who had been arrested in Sri Lanka. The problem is it's becoming a long problem for us and we need to end that problem because our fish, both sides, Sri Lankan part also, they are Tamil fishermen and here also, in Tam Indian fishermen also, they are Tamil fishermen and they both has to settle together and had to live a cordial relationship and the government of India has to work for that with the Sri Lankan government to settle this issue because the Sri Lankan government should not be left as it is that of seeing this into a Sri Lankan as well as Tamil t t Indian Tamil pro problem. It has to be seen as an Indian problem and every fisherman from India is an Indian and we need to voice for their voices and their grievances has to be addressed and I thank Congress President, I thank Honorable Prime Minister, I thank Rahulji for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much.